Well, hey, everybody. Welcome. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, so I'm Michael Solberg, and this is Ben Silverman. Uh, we wrote a book <laughs> called OpenStack for Architects over the last about year and a half. And uh, we wanted to talk to you today um, yeah, a couple things. Like, first of all, why, why we wrote the book, uh, what's in the book, what was writing the book like, uh, and also, you know, why would anyone write a book anymore? <laughs> so um, I'm, a, I'm an architect at Red Hat uh, for the past maybe like four or five years. I've been working on OpenStack clouds with customers, designing them and, and helping them uh, build them out. Uh, and Ben? Uh, I'm an architect at uh, Onyx Enterprise Solutions. Formerly, uh, I was at Mirantis as an architect, as a, as a system architect there. And prior to that, um, I built American Express's first uh, OpenStack cloud. At the time, about 2013, it was the largest financial services cloud uh, that existed. It was on Havana, the Ice House. I'm sure I built a larger one at another bank I can't name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so, you know, you think about when a lot of us got our start in IT, if we've been doing this for a while, I think one of the things that we would all do is go down to Barnes & Noble and get a book, right? We'd sit down and read the book and learn how to program uh, or whatever, and it seems like these days um, less and less that's happening. Uh, but I still read a lot of books in technology, um, and I think Ben and I both have an interest in it. Uh, so we'll kind of start with the first question that we had, which is, you know, why did we write the book? Um, so one of the things uh, for me that when I got started was I feel like the existing OpenStack documentation is very, very good at telling you how to do uh, very particular things, right? So if I'm going to install the Nova Compute service, there's great documentation on how to do it. There's great documentation on, you know, all the different options that you can set and what you'd set them to. Uh, but I feel like there is not a lot of good documentation on uh, why would I set them to something, right? So, it, you know, uh, if I'm going to do Neutron, why would I use uh, a third-party SDN? Why would I use the internal SDN? Why would I do Neutron? And so that was a lot of the kind of questions we tried to answer in the book. And I thought, too, I looked at, I helped with some other OpenStack books um, by, from different publishers and different authors, and they were great books on how to. Yeah. how to install OpenStack. Here's a command by command, and here's a description of all the projects. And it just kept, you know, kept getting redundant. Nobody was answering the question of, how do I plan for a deployment? How do I, you know, once I'm done, what's day two look like? What, are, what do we think about with operations? What about our existing enterprise processes, authentication, backup? What is, what is all that? What do the operations look like? Nobody was really dealing with it. It was kind of a, you know, a third rail, if you will, because it, it's, it's such a, temperamental topic in many enterprises. So we want, I wanted to you know, write a book and answer some of these questions, maybe not as in depth as um, you know, required for most companies, but enough that people could get a good start to kind of get a feel for, you know, putting in OpenStack is more than just installing the software and getting instances running. It is a culture change and it is a change to a lot of business and, and operational processes. So I figured that there was no book out there that, that did that and uh, I, I sure made a lot of mistakes in that area, and then I watched my customers make the same mistakes over and over and over again. So, and, and, you know, instead of complaining about it, uh, I wanted to write a, a resource for them to go to, uh, and future customers to go to, so they know at least you know where we were where we were coming from. Cool. So, uh, how do we write the book? Uh, so, uh, this is actually Ben and I met for the first time in person last week, <laughs> and we've been uh, working together for gosh, I, uh, well over a year uh, yeah. on the book. Um, I started the book uh, working with a publisher uh, and kind of got to a point where I realized there was no way that I was going to be able to get the book done on the publisher's timelines. Uh, so uh, we both have you know, demanding jobs and families at home. Uh, and so the publisher uh, got me in touch with Ben and got him on the project uh, and was really kind of Ben saved me <laughs> on the book for sure by coming in and, and giving me a hand. So. Uh, we started out with kind of me starting on the book, and then Ben came in, and then we ended up finishing uh, collaborative. So the, the last chapter of the book is actually uh, kind of written by both half, of, half and half of us, uh, and we've been working together on it uh, since then. And you know, I had a similar idea to, to Michael's idea, and submitted it at the same time Michael was in process of writing his book. And the publisher just so happened happened to be the same publisher, so uh, you know they were smart enough to put two and two together and said, hey. Don't write two books. You guys write the same book. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, this guy needs some help. So uh, he he saved me half my writing that I was going to do, and he's he's done. He did an excellent job on the first part. So I was really glad to to kind of team up with him. But it was very interesting, uh, you know, in the digital age, getting us together, yeah. uh, 
you know, showing me his parts, me showing him his, you know, their, my parts, and then dealing with the publisher in the middle, doing the editing and making suggestions, and then you know, having me go back over his parts to say, okay, well, my parts don't quite fit with that. Can we? Can I modify his parts? And going back to him, and you know, that whole coordination, um, not being in person, not sitting down at a whiteboard or whatever, was let's say interesting. It was yeah. very interesting. Yeah. No, and, and I would say if you if you are working with a publisher and another author. Uh, you know, making sure that the coordination is happening at the author level and then presenting a very united front to the publisher is always a, a good idea. Uh, so what's in the book? Um, so the book is mainly about uh, architectural decisions, kind of from soup to nuts that you make when you're doing an OpenStack project. Uh, it starts out with a brief introduction to OpenStack and then goes into, um, you know, the, the kind of larger considerations around hardware, software selection, things like that. One of the things that is important to both of us um, is that even though we work uh, for OpenStack vendors, we want to make sure the book was vendor neutral. Uh, and I think we took a, a pretty good approach at that and kind of pointed out some things that are good about, you know, say, Mirantis, some things that are good about Red Hat, uh, and a lot of things that are good about kind of going your own way. Uh, so the book is geared that direction. Um, and I think the only regret we have about what's in the book is that there could be more in the book. Uh, so we're working on a second edition that'll fill out some of the areas that it might have been a little bit uh, short. Right, and I think that um, you know if you decide to go get the book and, and read it, um, you know people. The feedback we've been getting is that it's an excellent read. So it reads very smoothly. It's not a technical book in the sense that, again, we note line for line. It's not a reference guide. It really is kind of a, written in a story model. Uh, talks about everything from deployment planning, how to plan a deployment, how to think about your architecture but also goes into operations, talks about considerations, things that we've seen, uh, exp you know, it's all experiential learning uh, that we've tried to impart on, on in the book. So, um, I, and as Michael said, I think that the only thing we didn't do is make it a 500 page book because it easily could have been, yeah. uh, had we expanded on some of the chapters and we're saving that for the second edition. So we're looking for feedback for you know, this book to have people tell us, hey, we don't think you went far enough in this area, I'd like to hear more. Um, and that will be our second edition, really giving everybody what they want to know. And then uh, lastly, a, kind of a question uh, that we wanted to impart on, if you're looking to write a book too, um, I think, you know, what would we do different next time? I think we both felt, uh, when, when you're working with a publisher, kind of the process works something like, uh, you and the publisher set out an agreed timeline uh, and an agreed amount of content and then you kind of work through this process of trying to get them the content in an agile fashion, right? So you deliver content, they're working on the technical review of it, uh, and then you deliver content and they're working on the technical review and there's a, a tension uh, on the timelines. So I think you know, the main thing that I would do differently and what we've been talking about for the next edition is get as much content written up front as you can uh, so that you're not feeling pressure while you're doing it. So writing a book is a really enjoyable thing. It's uh, something that's a lot of fun to do. Uh, but it's not fun if you're kind of facing down deadlines and feeling pressure. So the more content you write before you start to work with the publisher, uh, I think that that's the main thing. Certainly that's the approach we're gonna take on the next edition is try and get as much written as we can uh, before we engage uh, the, the technical uh, editing process. Yeah, and they do, they do chase you down. They'll chase you down uh, <laughs> yeah. on the phone, they'll chase you down an email. Uh, I had one of them like find my Skype and was like <laughs> Skyping me. And it's like, I'm, gonna, I'm going to get this to you, I yeah. promise, I will. I said I would write this book, it's just, you know, we're not, we're not professional authors. We don't, we don't write books for a living, so uh, yeah. we don't know all the tricks in the tra of the trade. So uh, as Michael said, the next book, we're gonna just get a jump start yeah. uh, and we're gonna probably sell them on the idea when we're mostly done. Uh, that way, you know, the timelines, they can have whatever timelines they want and we just go, you know, pretty much go to sleep. We just wait for, yeah. you know, the ticker to expire and we pump, put the polish on until they're, until they're ready to do the full review. Um, hey, one more thing too that I would say is uh, the more collaboration you can have uh, with you know all sorts of different people on the book, the more fun it is. Um, I, I've read a lot of other OpenStack books and I've always been jealous because it seemed like they had a lot more collaboration uh, than, than we did on our book. So uh, you know the more people you can rope in, the more reviewers. Uh, a lot of the good feedback that I got earlier was you know from coworkers of mine that I'd just send a chapter to and, and get their thoughts on. Um, no, I highly recommend doing that. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you're gonna write a book, also be careful that when your publisher sends it out that all the information is correct, uh, especially when it goes out to the, to the, uh, McAfee, the McAfee's, the O'Reilly's and the Amazon's of the world, yeah. because 
they had the wrong authors on our book for I don't know how long and pre-release. It's like, guys, yeah. can you please fix this? And it was almost like a fixing a dam. They put their thumb here, and then over on O'Reilly would say, had the wrong title for the book or the wrong picture. I think our book is still classified as like oh, yeah, uh, right. advanced neoclassical architecture. <laughs> yeah, like we're building buildings. We have a in, book uh, in we, Amazon. I don't know anything about big, building a building, it's, yeah. but it's in Amazon. It's doing well in that section. Yeah, we really, we're we number are, one we're, bestseller in like neoclassical bestseller Italianate and, architecture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, you went to Barcelona. I am like second to Gaudi for the chapel, <laughs> according to Amazon. Uh, so um, I do have a copy of the book up here uh, mm -hmm. with me. So if anyone wants to come and look at the chapters, uh, if you're considering buying it, you want to just take a quick browse through it, uh, I'll be glad to show it to you. Um, and, and that's I think it. We have, yeah. we have no more time. So, so thank, thank you, you guys. for coming. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Appreciate it.